What up, what up, what up, Snake Gang? It's your boy, Falakim Mamba. We are back with another recap video of our live session, guys. So I'm bringing you uh, the recap of yesterday, guys, because, like, um, I couldn't record yesterday. But, uh, yeah, guys, you know, because, like, we prioritize you. We feel like it's very important that we share this kind of information with you guys so that we don't get missed out. So if you are a returning subscriber, shout out to you. If you are new to this YouTube video, make sure that before you even get to keep in this video, you subscribe, you like, and you share with your friends as well at home. Uh, from me, your boy, Falaka Mamba, you already know, guys, already know. So yesterday, guys, uh, it was another profitable day for us at Forest Chasers. We really ate uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah, it was a good day. So I'm just going to break it down to you guys as to why I called uh, that trade that I called yesterday. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. So basically, guys, you can see that yesterday, as, uh, especially with the strategy that I am basically using uh, for half past three, it was a bit of complicated yesterday because we uh, we were from a uh, what from this um, choppy market. So when we're having this choppy market, there are a lot of key areas that are close to each other. So it's very hard for us to be able to identify which ones are worth throwing and which ones are not worth throwing. So but yesterday we saw that guys we are in this ascending structure here, and then what is it that happened? We broke below here, came back for a retest, and started to making these lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. Lower, lower highs. So now again, uh, one thing that you need to pay attention to, guys, here is that you see that price turned into this area here, and then what what it did, it shot to the upside and then closed above like 25 parts. It closed above this area here. So I was actually waiting for a half past three candlestick to show me the direction as to where the market wants to go. So as you can see, that, guys, the half past three um, candlestick when it opened here, when it opened, I think we called it buy here. Yes, we called a buy somewhere here at the retail of this area here. Um, we called a buy here, just exactly here. This is where we called a buy on our what on our uh, yes statement. So the reason I'm calling this buy, guys, is because if you can see that we have what we have what we have this level of what this level of support that was respected by price, and you can see that price broke below this level of support, but then again went back into structure. As you can see, we yes we couldn't break above this area here. Again, but we did come back into this area here, right? And then someone will say, okay, there's this uh, resistance that is being created by what? By price here. This resistance that was created by price here, that price couldn't break above here. But then we look at the momentum, we can see that price is pushing now to the upside because of the broke, catch to uh, us in the wrong side of the market. And now what is happening? We think price coming back into what? Into strike. So as you can see, guys, we entered this long position. We entered this long position at the retest of this area here, put our stop loss just below this area, put our stop loss just below this area to make sure that guys, we don't get caught on the wrong side of, uh, or on, um, we don't get caught by that um, uh, stop hand moves that uh, usually happens, especially uh, when the market first goes into opposite or against us. So to make sure that we prevent that, as you can see guys, that we put our stop loss just below, Say if price do happen to break this area here, then we're out of that trade. We out. Uh, we no longer want to be in that position. And then again, guys, we can see that we have what we have this double top formation that was created, which is one of our reversal pattern. But you can see, guys, that as the price was starting to develop to the downside, there was no much momentum, as you can see. But we started to gain this uh, long weekend stick to the downside, forming uh, what lower lows, lower highs, with so much impulsive candles to the downside. That um, Again, was to me, okay, we are in a downtrend, but then once I saw that our strategy was telling us to buy, I was like, okay, even though we are in a downtrend and we can see that price is pushing uh, very, very impulsively to the downside, but I need to stick to my strategy because of you know that like, one trade cannot make or break you. Remember, guys, consistency is the key. If you are being consistent, you must keep on doing the same thing over and over again, expecting your strategy to say, my strategy is saying this, so I must do this because of my strategy said, I must do this. You mustn't pick out. From your strategy because of now probably you think structure pushing to the downside with some impressive move and you start to shake and be like okay price is bearish and then you forsake all your trading rules you say uh, when i'm trading half past three this is what i look out for because of now the structure was doing other things so i was like okay you know what let me just stick to what i know what i've been back testing because like this strategy is so back tested the results it's not just something that i'm just mumbling and like uh, I'm, I'm taking it from I don't know, but as you can see, guys, that uh, we were in profit. Uh, we're in profit. I think of about. Uh, let me see. We're in profit of about uh, eight, 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 one pips. 
we improvise up about it one piece, but I'm like, okay, guys, let's just hold this position. Let's just hold, put our stop loss below here. And then looking to just target about 2% in this position. Super, super nice and chilled. It's not too complicated. So yeah, as price continue to play out, we saw that price will reflect this area here on our five minute time frame. And then again, we saw price starting now to do what? To shoot so nice to the upside. As you can see, we started seeing price shooting all the way to the upside. So basically, this is where we uh, got to take our profit. This is where, once we saw the price steps into this era, we're like, okay, cool, let's just take our profit about 2% on this position. Super, super nice and, and simple. It was not too complicated, to be honest, guys. It was not too complicated, even though we did stay in a throwdown, but I told uh, my mentees to, you know what, guys, just trust the strategy and trust the process. Don't be shaken and just relax, guys, because like, I've got you. So price continued to shoot to the upside. And then eventually came back to uh, probably these errors here, and then eventually continued. But we we're already out of the position by that time. We have already made our what our profit. But as you can see, that the momentum was still pushing well to the upside. So that was basically it as for uh, US USDT. And then going to Nasdaq, as uh, as you know that uh, I don't trade Nasdaq. I only analyze Nasdaq for those who want to trade it, but I don't trade it because there is a lot of moment of. A uh, fake move on Nasdaq. You can find out price can just spike up and then push to the downside, or it can just spike to the downside and then push to the upside. So I really don't trade the reduction of spikes or whatsoever. I trade pure move like that USDT gives me. So that's why I don't focus much on what on Nasdaq. But just to explain Nasdaq, as you can see, that we had what we have this structure here. So a little bit more clear on Nasdaq than on USDT to show that on USDT the price was very, very, very much. But on Nasdaq, you can see that we are breaking. It's been making these high highs, high lows, made new high highs, high lows, high highs, and then we broke below structure here, came back for a bit of retest, and then we're making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and we close below here. Remember, guys, that type of thing, these two they don't move together; they uh, move in opposite direction. But the weaker one uh, always follow later on. So you can see that on Nasdaq it was 25 past. And then we close below this area here. So for me, I was looking for selling opportunities. I would be looking for selling opportunities probably to this area here because of now we close below uh, our what our support, uh, our resistance area here. As you can see, guys, that we have what we have this area as uh, price was developing, making these high highs, high lows, high highs. So you can see that price came back to test these areas again before continuing to push to the upside. So this is a, a nice level of what of, uh, uh, of its resistance tending to what into support so as you can see and then i was looking for price to come and go into these errors before probably following USDT because like most of the time it's the nasdaq that usually follows the USDT, but um it is what it is guys so you can see this is what i don't like about nasdaq you see that first it's back to the downside and then back to the outside so whether if you sold here you died with this week if you bought here you died with this week to the downside so you can see that either way you're gonna die unless if you have a big account to sustain this one these losses and you can see that now it's shooting to the downside like the upside shoot to the downside you can see that whether you sold or bought if you have a small account you wouldn't gonna survive this low and then eventually we saw Nasdaq shooting to the upside and following what following us it as i told you guys that uh, most of the time is the weaker one that follows uh, the, the other one so yeah that's basically it guys for today's uh, session uh yesterday's session i mean uh yeah we ate we ate uh, a lot the people made a lot of money yesterday live with me so make sure guys that you become part of us and you join us uh it's me your boyfriend like i'm out of the building and there'll be peace in the middle east with our brothers and sisters do you see don't forget guys don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends at home we're out of the building there'll be peace